we should be live now. Just checking that everything is good. Looks like audio is picking up. Okay, thank you for telling me there's a delay ads button. I'm not... Oh, I'm getting my own sound somewhere. There we are. That fixed it. Cool. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? I hope whoever is tuning in is having a nice, relaxing Thursday evening, at least Thursday evening in the States. And let's begin the next step of Fire Emblem 4 Chapter 4. Last time we captured Thove. Uh, this time we are... I guess still waiting because this neutral mage still has yet to uh, move so we're still waiting for them and in the meantime I'm figuring out uh, just what I want to do in the meantime because okay Sigurd can uh, return And also in the meantime over here we are also grinding some fishing. Not really that important. Um, do, do I really care about you at all anymore? I don't think so. But it gives me something to focus on, something to do. I think I just want to, first of all, repair the Brave Lance, um, return, yes, repair the Brave Lance, and I'll repair the Javelin too, just to be sure. Oh, I can't use the staff this turn. Okay, that's fine. I will just um, repair the Brave Sword here then. For returning you. Um, where is that village? It's just all the way down there. That's 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 gonna take a while. Oh, we have a talk conversation. And you are? Dropping all the fish in my inventory. Hello, Sylvia. You're cold because your heart's ablaze. Sure. Love your parents. Oh, music change. That that's cute. Ran away. Well, she was abducted while she was still an infant. Searched for her ever since, but to this day I've yet to find any sign of her. the somewhat oh yeah and that immediately gave them enough points awesome cool um how do I access the here it is yep that's minor broggy that's major broggy you know you can connect the dots if you want but they're pretty obvious right there uh so that means there's only two units left to pair it's I'm working on Bridget and Holland, and Lewin and Tail Two, and working on them. Indeed, we are because it's gonna take a while. It's it's been taking a while. 
But I guess that's all we're really doing because now we just have to wait for Pegasus Knights and Bow Knights to kill each other. Duke Andre, I presume. How magnificent. Helmby's renowned Bow Knights. The Beijing Ritter. His winged ponies don't stand a chance. Well, let's... Let's see how poorly this is gonna go. On one hand... My rule of thumb is always never trust important jobs to NPCs. On the other hand, they basically have this set up with, with these Bow Knights. That they perfectly like one shot or one round all the Pegasi and it's not even close. So these NPCs are going to do their job. Um, unfortunately for us, their job is decimating the entirety of the Silly's uh, Pegasus Knight regime. This must be done. Never once did I suspect we would someday find ourselves as enemies. Well, now that these two don't need to be stuck together for all time. I think I can finally start using return.
I'm just gonna be playing in silence a little bit, I guess, cuz... Really, what else is even happening? But do I guard for the best? No, HP regen is fine. Just gonna leave them in there for another minute or two. I'm just kind of sitting here watching the show. This is... Welcome to Pegasus Knights Attacking Pegasus Knights the movie. I'm zoning out, looking through Discord, fishing and RuneScape, just trying to find something else to make this more interesting as... Yeah, Pamela's squad doesn't even need the archers to, to beat Manya's squad. They have the... The power of first attack at their disposal, but then the archers come in and it is a clear wipe. Okay, I guess they don't one shot, but they one round quite easily. going to die because she's completely trapped. Yeah, they're going to try to fight the uh, Bow Knights, but the Bow Knights are powerful, and these Pegasus Knights are very weak. Yeah, they do like 9 damage, can't double, get doubled in return. Not even close. <laughs> so sad. This is what old school gamers would like to call it's it's cinematic. Meanwhile, because I pre-positioned everyone, I have very few units to actually move on my turns. <laughs> oh yep, yeah. welcome to whatever this is. Like, where'd Madeir go? Okay, Madeir did promote. I'd forgotten if he had or not. You have arrived. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you are enjoying the show. It is... Well, quite honestly, I don't know what this is or what this qualifies as, but... It's arguably something. And I think... I think we're finally about to get... Okay, he's 
So physic. Oh, who has the heal staff? Praxis? You do have the heal staff. Okay. Okay. Yep. You can heal. We're we're all so excited for you. Uh, might as well use the return staff here as well, because all the extra. All the extra uh, experience Aaron can get, probably for the best. Meanwhile, y'all can dance. And wait. Dance and wait and dance and wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's the whole story. Oh, hey, medium cool. Nice. What is going on? Another number to block. Great. In case any of you have ever tried to look for jobs online, uh, be very aware that there are a million and one job scams going around. And people will not hesitate to prey on you just because you are... People won't stop preying on you and abusing you and scamming you just because you're poor and looking for work. If anything, it puts you in a more vulnerable position, so they will uh, target you more actively and more persistently. I don't know why a lot of rich people don't get scammed, it's because they're not desperate enough to fall for it. come in and we're about to see all of these Pegasus Knights finally kick the bucket because the door doesn't open until they die. Thank you for hunting down the farthest ones first and not trying to target the closest ones to you. Uh, it makes trying to get them to chase down the stragglers so much harder than it needs to be. But hopefully this should be a full wipe. And yes, I am rooting for the enemy. It's fine. It's fine. No need to worry. We root for the enemy. Because we want to be able to use our own units. <laughs> That's... and that's a TPK. There we go. Oh. Do we not... He has been killed? How could this happen? So sorry, forgive me. You sent her out with a group of Pegasus Knights with like iron lances. It wasn't gonna work. Honey is dead? You're joking. This can't be happening. How could anyone have killed her? This can't be. Anyway, I still don't know if it's safe. Uh, actually, it should be safe. I'm still not gonna try it though. So, what's your move? Eight. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that and just. Uh, return staff. I guess I can move Dew out. Actually, Dew's going to sell the Wind Sword just to make sure that I'm. Make sure that I don't accidentally lose it by getting Dew killed or something. Yeah, 
finished fishing. I guess that's fine because I've finished doing my turn stuff. Wait, I needed I wanted to keep healing Noish. Oh well. Expected so much more from Seleucus' famous Pegasus Knights. But I had a group of archers that could all double them, so that's all I needed. Where are they all going? <laughs> Wait, I forget. Do they all fly up and attack, um, what's it called? Thove? Do they all attack Thove? I forgot that. Hmm. It's like okay. 14 defense, and they all have, you have 33. They all have javelins and 24 attack. Ooh. Oh, this might be rough. Well, I may have forgotten what happens. Look, it's been... A long time since I've played this, and I haven't really watched anyone play Chapter 4 either. Uh, so maybe I am just gonna be warping... ...and keeping Sylvia up here or something. I'm, like, warping Noish. Uh, might just do that, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that we have some bulky units. Maybe I just warp Madeir up. Jamka. Yeah, they're they're probably a little bit better suited to defending against all these Pegasus Knights. want to make sure you're still gaining points. Ah, oh, I hate how slowly these points gain. Okay, and anyone else? Oh, just my dear. Um, I guess I can just leave you with the... With the killer bow and the... Brave bow. Killer bow is a little better of a defensive weapon anyway. It's a lot lighter. Capital's under control. Mission accomplished. You ride to Grand Vale at once. Yeah, yeah, no. Have a good night. I didn't expect you to... Yeah, you don't have to stick around forever. Just, just, just hang out if you want. But if you gotta go, no worries. I understand. Chapter 4 is very slow and I have nothing interesting to say to fill the time. This is more of just a let's get through it type of stream. Capital's mine and mine alone. Axemen occupying the capital. 
Okay. Sure. Axes and FE4. That's never been a bad idea. Oh. And here's all the villagers. Do -do 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 -do. And in case you wanted to know who the villains are, pretty obvious. And so Donovan was a good idea after all. Lamia the Infernal. Group will guard the castle. Is that the... No, it's not. It's not the mages that have the triangle attack. It's on a later chapter, I guess. Okay. Well, door's open. And just as I thought, Arden can't get through. Zaxxon, okay, Blizzard Mage, Blizzard Mate, 25, hmm, that's not great, all the units that I wish had javelins and whatnot just don't have them, okay, whatever. Arden, unfortunately, probably won't be able to do much. Actually, if Arden can't do anything down here, because he just can't get anywhere, why don't we send him up to Thove and see if we can convince the Pegasus Knights to attack him? Yeah, it wouldn't be the worst idea I've had. Everyone's moving through. Everyone needs to have a chance. Maybe not do, though. Maybe do is just a liability at this point. Okay, now where are these Pegasus Knights? Okay, so 33, you can attack from there. Um, that should be fine, right? Max. Oh, no, that's not fine. I just did the math, and that is potentially uh, lethal for me, which is not good. So we are going to uh, get you the heck out of here. Like, sure, it's unlikely they're all going to hit me, but... I can't leave that up to chance. Perfect. I even got a little bit of use out of Sylvia. Hit points. Well, and you were waiting here just for me? Yep. Okay, you're just gonna guard the castle. It's what you do. It's 
what you good at? And then you start moving forward. Seems to be about it. Here come all the Axe Fighters. Yep. Uh, resistance is sufficient that that's not going to kill me, but that might kill a citizen. That's how rude. How rude. Silence armies finally coming. Up the castle, no matter what, don't let them near it. And here's the bulky boys. Sigurd phase, let's go. As much as I would love to just grab all of these with tail two, it's not really seeing all that seeming all that feasible right now. Yep, just just kill with the silver sword, that's what we're good at. with any of these units? I mean... Also would rescue with them. Rescue them with Tail 2. Ah, oh, got a bug on my screen. Come on. Get. That should be a one-shot if it can hit. Of course, John Pick can hit. He's old reliable. Yeah, I'd rather get some experience on the likes of like Lewin and Noish uh, than to have all that experience just disappear at the hands of the of the bandits, so Yeah, that that's just gonna that's just gonna happen. Hit points, defense. Part just to make sure. Hey, Tail 2 and Lewin are still adjacent. That worked out just fine. Okay, now. Uh, Pamela's Pamela. Okay, so there's Pamela. Okay, that would have me take on two of them. Sure, I'm not taking on too many. Also, at the same time, making sure I'm not. One sec, did I leave the. 
a wing sword. And a pawn broker. Wing Slayer, yes. I'll think about that one. I'll think about that one, and if I need to use it, I will. Oh wait, I do want to deploy Sylvia. Okay, the green units do run away, thankfully. So they don't just stand there and die. That's nice. Job Noish. Noish. Slap, slap, slap. Oh, they all want to just suicide over on Noish's. Brave sword over here. Well, I don't I don't care. I'm loading up the brave sword with kill stars. Let's do this. Do 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 uh, 24. For some reason I thought there would be more. Yeah, it was hit by one of them. This is 33, 21 speed. Okay, I don't know anything really about speed, but 33 minus 14 is 19. And she's the only one that can attack that tile, right? We're, we're doubly sure. There's that tile right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, well, if we're sure and we're sure, then let's do it. Because this way I can enemy phase the boss with the Brave Lance and do what I came here for. Continuing to not get Arden experience. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Um, but such is, such is, such is. And then we get to just take out some bandits, and it feels so good to actually, I don't know, play Fire Emblem where I'm moving units and attacking with them instead of just standing around. I will definitely say the Gen 1 forcing, uh, forcing of Perrin's experience would not recommend. Would honestly give pretty low... Pretty low ratings to okay. What actually we do? We got steel axe, steel bow, steel sword, steel bow. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Double 
double checking what that looks like. Yep, looks fine to me. This Marcus is going to rescue one of these. And of course I moved myself in a position where he's just going to attack the last of these villagers, so I need to block that from happening. And unfortunately the only person who can block that is Lewin, who I am trying to marry with Tail 2, but it's just not happening right now. Oh shoot, I pressed return. I did not mean to press return. Just fantastic. A plus, A plus plus play on my part. I must say this has gone swimmingly. Oh, and I even forgot to move Sylvia. Great. You know, I like this game playing it because it's relaxing and whatnot, but I don't think I would ever stream FE4 ever again. <laughs> like, I like slow, relaxing, grindy games, but streaming them, it, it just, there, there's a totally different experience to streaming where it's like, I feel like I need to be on, I feel like I need to be more entertaining than I am, or something like that. And when the game itself is not being entertaining, I find it very hard to be entertaining myself. Uh, which is probably why I should not try to be a streamer long term. I've known that I don't really have that entertainer spirit in me, uh, but this just kind of reveals it fully. An example of AI on not clever mode uh, will just openly attack into uh, zero a unit that has zero percent uh, chance to hit. Perfect example of that. You're here to save me, thank you so much. Have a free level up. Okay, their axes are a lot more da Okay, only four points more damaging. Uh, Noish is not afraid of them. He might be a little bit afraid of the mages, though. That tile right there. Attack. One. Two, three. Probably... No, I can't exit their range, can I? Well, how much damage can they actually do? 26? Oh, that's... that's... Okay, that's actually 42. Um... Yeah. Yeah, mages. Do not mess with mages. You don't have Jav. You have a Jav. Uh, so we're just gonna park you like this. Oh wait, where can you both move to? I hate this paired movement that I'm forced into. Yeah, when I'm able to just move my units around the way I want to, FE4 is kind of nice. And just, you know, big, broad swaths of units. It's fun, it's relaxing, it's enjoyable. Uh, when I'm pigeonholed into only using specific units.
Ooh, Aaron's not looking too good. Um... That's not looking too great for me. Well, you can equip the killer bow and uh, Arden. The time has come. You must ride out to defend your people. <laughs> That 19 defense you have is going to mean you only take 5 damage from each of their attacks, which uh, means you can survive like 8, 9, a good number of attacks. So I'm totally fine sending you into the fray, but let's see what Madeira can do. Because, gotta be honest, I don't have super high hopes for his survivability. Oh, this, this could be a little bit rough. Okay. Okay, it looks like the ones that haven't decided to... Looks like the ones that aren't in range because they killed their leader are kind of just gathering. Like a weird form of gather point AI because normally they follow the commander, but since the commander died, their AI pattern has to change. Yeah, no, no, no. They're, they are just on gather point now. Cool. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them acting passive, or more passive and stupid because their commander is dead. That is something that I 100% wholeheartedly endorse. And here they come. Here they come. Okay, first of all, before we forget, let's, let's move... Move these, these fools. Okay. Is the bridge of any defense? No, it's negative. Okay. That's in range of all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Deer. I'm gonna put you so that you're in range of not all of them, but you are in range of some of them, so you can maybe distract a little bit. Uh, maybe there is honestly probably the best place for you. Yeah, you're in range of three. You can survive three. If all three attack you, you'll take down two. Hello, Ignermus, how are you today? We are slowly but surely uh, working our way through chapter four, just plodding along as you do. Also less than 500 experience away from level 79 fishing, but we're gonna get that right here. Okay, now that that's been done, see what we can do down here. The answer is... Heck all. Okay. Okay, I don't... I think we'll be okay. I think I can heal her using like, physic or something. Yay, 79. Can now catch sea turtles using the fishing trawler. Don't know if I'll ever do that. Okay, anyone can kill, I guess, either of these if they had the room to get there. Okay, you can come over here and get this attack. Hellwind over here, which means Jamka can finish off the mage. Nice, unnecessary crit. Love it. 
Doing good. Got food. Ooh, food is good. I can I can food chat all day. I'm doing all right. Uh, I finished my hot chocolate, so now I'm just sipping water. Uh, not gonna lie, things have been a little rough in uh, various ways for me, but life finds a way. Everything's going to be fine, and we're all here now. So no panic, no pressure. We're just here. We're we're jiving. We're chilling. We're living, and we're gonna be fine. As I keep telling myself, just make it through the day. It's always another day tomorrow. And that might make it sound worse than it is. Things are fine. Things haven't gotten like worse or anything in my situation. They're just like kind of stagnant. I was mentioning earlier, just I've been dealing with, I'm trying to find a job and as such I've been dealing with a never-ending flood of scams and scam jobs because welcome to the world we live in where it's perfectly acceptable to scam people that are absolutely desperate for work and if anything they're high we become higher targets because uh, desperate people tend to make more mistakes and fall into scams more often uh, than people who are not which is why you don't hear a lot of stories of like rich people getting scammed because they're oftentimes not desperate enough to take the risk that the scam represents. I'm just going to fortify just to make sure. But yeah, anyway, notwithstanding, things are going fine. I'm just chilling and trying to get through Gen 1 because the gameplay of Fire Emblem 4 Gen 1 Maybe it's just chapter four, but it is it is not super great, to be honest. Like, these last few turns, they've been fine. They've been interesting. I've been able to attack with units, but I just had to, like, the start of the stream, the first, like, half an hour, it felt like. Um, so, you know, which, how long has it been? Yeah, no, the first half an hour of the stream was just me sitting here watching enemy Pegasus Knights attack green Pegasus Knights and waiting for the red for the red bow Knights to show up so they can actually kill off the so they can actually kill off the green Pegasus Knights I may have made a mistake <laughs> but it's fine they're close enough now I can warp Noish in and Noish can uh, help out because Noish has the leg ring, so so we're fine, is what I'm saying. Pollen was your target. Tail two's your target. Okay, that one at least makes a little bit more sense. Twenty-two percent chance to hit actually landed. Okay, so Teltu gets that kill. I'm wondering if I can rig it so Teltu can get the other kill as well, but I don't want to risk her life for it. Because she does have Wrath right now, but this guy has can attack on both phases, so... Thoron. Okay, 68... Minus four. Oh, that's a perfect one shot. Hopefully the game's giving me a relaxed mind. Yeah, they they've definitely kept me busy and occupied, um, and have something else to focus on and progress on. Uh, my clan in Old School RuneScape has been doing a clan bingo, uh, with some absolutely horrendous grinds and RNG uh, to get tiles for. But honestly. That's been kind of relaxing because it, not relaxing is not the right word, but it's given me something else to focus on and something to occupy myself and do more actively, uh, which does definitely help to keep me uh, focused on the positive and focused on making progress. And so 
life... Sometimes life is just all about finding those things that, you know, m make everything work. And this has definitely been one of those things that has been helping to make things work. What is the chance to hit? Actually, wow, you do a lot better with the bolt, bolt sword than I expected. You're level 24, that makes sense. Well, I guess we'll just snipe and... Snipe and try. Good, good to not get overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Focusing on the things I can change, not the things I can't. Accepting life for what it is doesn't mean not fighting to change my situation. Of course, John could just prox in one rounds. He's the hero we need. It's hilarious that people think Jamka is a terrible unit just because he doesn't have a horse and say, oh, he's never going to get to anywhere that matters. It's like, well, yeah, if you're just thinking of the game as running around your armies in a block of units, then yeah, no. But if you plan ahead and pre-position, you can... There is... There are ways to get him to certain bosses. Maybe not all of them. They're not in optimal conditions. But you can definitely get him to where he needs to be. No, oh, not me. Okay. Well, let's seize the castle. So glad you're unharmed. My sincerest apologies for not coming to your aid sooner. My sincerest apologies for not finishing this game sooner. I know I've been playing it on and off for months now. It's just been really, really draining. As I was talking a little bit, probably just before you came in, uh, streaming? Like, I like FE4. I don't mind the slowness. I really enjoy the uh, castle micromanagement of it. Trying to optimize arenas and items and paragon bands and all that. Once I learned that that was a thing, I was like, okay, this is a type of optimization I can get behind. Like, maybe not fully fledged, like all the money optimization of everything is a little too much, but, but just like sitting back and watching your units grow is very relaxing. And it definitely does do a pretty good job of giving you that time to Captain does a pretty good job of giving you opportunities to see that growth and those things and whatnot. I'm not gonna double, am I? Oh uh, no, they have javelins. So I should double with the Wing Slayer. Am I gonna get a kill? I don't know. But Arden's gonna try his best. Okay, did not double. I guess once you hit zero... Once you hit zero, that's just it for you, I guess. Well, I've gotten myself into a pretty uh, interesting situation now, I would say. Arg. Who do I warp over there that can even help? Because now Arden is gonna die. And if I try to help out with... No, wait, are you on the river? Can I just heal... Okay, I might be able to. Ooh, this is... Okay, because if I warp Arcasus, she can't do anything. If I warp Lewin, he can... He can cast a Recover. Ah, uh, you believe in Arden? I'm glad someone does, because I'm not sure I do. <laughs> if I warp... I'd love to warp Noish. Uh, he's not in warp range right now. Uh, and I don't want to warp Luin before he gets 
uh, for SETI, but unfortunately I think I might have to and then just like play Warp Roulette. Warp him, return, return, warp, whatever. Just to find a way to get him back to Solis. Because what I'm thinking has to happen is I warp Lewin up here. Um, he comes over and recovers Eren. Eren then charges in, kills... I kill two of Pamela's units, making sure that Arden can survive. And then hoping that Madeir survives, like, on a forest tile or something. Yeah, that's gonna be how I have to play it. Sorry, Lewin. I have to warp you to Thove right now. The lives of Arden and the others, but mostly Arden, hang in the balance. <laughs> Yes, we recover on Aaron. And else like really hurt. No, okay. Because you can only take even fewer hits. Yeah, you take 11 per hit, so you're liable to die more. So you'll 64 minus 10 is 54, so you do one shot. There's only a 26% chance to get hit, so... That's fine. That's fine. You know, relying on RNG has never, you know, totally failed me. One time Pegasus Knights are scary. I underestimated this band. And I am paying, uh through the nose because of my underestimation of them. Okay. Hopefully they'll see that Aaron can't attack at two range and has lower defense than Arden and will decide, hey, that's the unit I want to attack. Because at this point in time, hope-based plays are all I got. I really don't like relying on them, but, you know, as I said, it's all I got. <laughs> One time Pegasus Knights are scary. Eh, something like that. Okay, the Cursed Rebels have already recaptured Celeste. What place is Donovan even doing out there? Uh, dying, that's what he did. He got one-rounded by Jamka. Fire Emblem 4, A New Hope. Well, what did I say? What did I ask for? Them to attack Eren because they deal more damage to her and have a better chance to hit. Thank you, AI. Eren is not in a terrain that provides cover. She's a Pegasus Knight, she's a flyer, she can't uh, benefit from cover, and so they have... A better chance of hitting her than they do Madeira. They also deal more damage to her than they would do if they attacked Arden. And Arden is in a forest. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why that worked, but it did work. Maybe they also just attack Eren more because they're programmed to target Pegasus Knights. I don't know. I don't know. I'm done trying to 
figure out reasons for this. I just want to deal with these Pegasus Knights and maybe get Arden a kill. Heck, maybe two. Okay, Wing Slayer Arden, let's go! You can hit a 64%. Yes, you can. Good job. 99! <laughs> you, real, you really are just disappointment in unit form. I, I see what you're doing there. I see what you're going for. Picking up what you're putting down. Arden really is just turned into disappointment in unit form. Well, now that Lewin's help... Now that Lewin cast the one heal staff that technically he didn't even need to cast because Aaron didn't end up getting hit. All substitutes, yeah. Yeah, no. The all substitutes run definitely makes you very much appreciate the units uh, that are force... whatever. The All Substitute run makes you very much appreciate the units that uh, don't require pairings. The ones that are uh, given just for you. And it, it really does become in some in some aspects. Uh, the... If, if you can level them up, uh, Leaf, Selif, and Ares show with some Shannon support for boss killing. Okay, so we have all of these units with killer weapons. Killer bows, Elf Thunder, Lamia has a Silver Blade, doesn't drop anything. You don't drop anything, you just have a physic. So be aware. Killer bows. Off base 27 attack, so still somewhat dangerous. Okay, you did marry Lewin, thank goodness. Okay, does that mean you... No, you've not. Okay. So I'm just waiting on one pairing now, and it may just be, like, the slowest pairing ever. I'm not sure, but it doesn't feel good. Okay, I have 36 and... 19 defense, uh, which means if I do, if I did get crits, I would die. Uh, so let's just not get crit, shall we? That sounds like a good plan. Yep, and just like that, everything is fine. Nothing bad happened. anything if anything happens. Also, uh, if I didn't mention it, hello Mr. L. Hope you're having a good day as well. Okay. Lewin, book it to Celeste. You book it to Lewin. You Book it to somewhere you can be useful. Pacasus. I don't know. Try to try to heal or do something useful. Everyone's like, yeah, no, when Rakasus hits Master Knight, and I'm like, I didn't even know Rakasus promoted to Master Knight on my first playthrough because she capped out at like level 13 or something. Because actually promoting Rakasus is a trial. 
Like, you can do it. She's a staffer, and you can give her, like... If you deliberately do stuff to help her out, she's not that hard. Um, but you have to, like, go out of your way a little bit in order to do so. Like, give her stuff, like... You have to give her the warp staff and just use it every turn. You have to... You know, stuff like that. You do have Pursuit. So they can double. Well, let's aggro one and see how bad it goes. Jamka shouldn't get doubled. Oh no. Oh no. Um... Jamka might, uh, that, that might not be a great opportunity, I think. I didn't do the math. Jamka might get doubled. <laughs> Which means if he gets, like, double crit, this is gonna be very bad for my... If Jamka gets double crit, that's gonna be very bad for his, uh, long-term... survival opportunities. Okay, Arden, earn that level 19. Hit point, strength, defense, all you need, bro. That's all you need. And I guess if that's all that's going on, uh, you can fly down. You can gallop away. Oh, whoops, wrong button. You can, I don't know, come this way. Yeah, and then we uh, try to feed Arden that last kill. Nope, she is not interested. They, yeah, they must have some sort of AI trigger in them that forces them to attack Eren if if she's if she's a valid if she is a viable target. Okay, no, Jomka's fine. Jomka gets the adept frock. It doesn't even matter. He's just gonna pretend like he had more speed from the start. Okay, and now they're all moving in formation, I believe. Yes. As... As enemies in FE4 want to do. They move in formation and don't care. Oops. Save progress. Fall in love already. Okay, now is this where I just pull the good old... I think it is. I'm gonna retreat. Scratch that, I'm going to... Oh, it's a brave sword. Um, what if I have attack on a brave sword? Uh, let's... Oh. Could do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, why even worry? Why even worry when you have Sigurd? Why even play the game, you know? It's just it it's just Sigurd's world. We're just It's it's Sigurd's world. We're just living in it.
Now, unfortunately, this Pegasus Knight has moved in such a way that Arden won't be able to get the kill. Truly the world's greatest tragedy of our time. But... If I convince this enemy to leave Eren alone, she might just decide to attack Arden anyway. I'll keep doing that as if it's gonna. Eh, people bad at the game lose Sigurd. Yeah, yeah. Never almost happened. Never almost happens, you know, and I purposely press the button to pull the trigger as if I wanted to end the run in Chapter 2. That never happened. Everything has always been totally fine, and Sigurd's never been dead, or nearly dead. It, it's fine. Okay, now they're going to move slightly out of position as they reach to attack me. The Elf Under Sage. Yeah, Elf Under Sage, that's fine. Oh, you didn't even move to it. So you would rather move in something approaching formation. I guess because. Okay, so I guess 0% hit doesn't trigger them to not attack, but 0 damage does. Good to know. Also, now we have a... F okay. Finally. Finally, everyone is paired. That only took way too long. And we have a full opportunity for Sylvia to dance. But before we do that... Arden needs his opportunity. We're switching to the Slim Sword for better accuracy. Let's do it. Get it done. Nineteen thirty-seven. He's gonna. Arden's gonna level up and promote it next arena as long as he's able to get like two rounds of victory. Might take three. Rats on all your marriages. Yes. <laughs> uh, sentences that only make sense in Fire Emblem terms. I mean, it could make sense in other contexts, but I feel like that would be a very different uh, type of stream. Okay, so you can guaranteed get some kills. And I want you to. Okay, let me do some quick math here. 68 minus 11 is... 57. Uh, I don't like the fact that I'm risking a 4% chance to miss on one RN, so let's do this one. And people say Tail 2 is hard to use. <laughs> Just, just deal 68 damage, lol. It's fine. Ooh, 70 damage now. People say Tail 2 is hard to use. Just get... Just get her into Wrath range and never use Fortify, lol. It's fine. It just works. Move Ira in here. Just get a good quad dance for all the foot soldiers. Yeah, that 
that's fine. Smack, smack. Level up. Aira. Aye. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. How much damage can you deal if you hit? Shot. Um, I want Sigurd a little. No, Sigurd's already three tile range. Yeah, that's. Let me just double check for 66. 76, yeah. Any death, and so were the funny or tragic. Um, Arden almost died, but it was fine because the AI decided that Aaron was uh, the most important target. Also, hey Danny, how's it going? Um,. You're just in time to watch uh, Tail 2 one-shot uh, Lamia. <laughs> oh, that was too fast. I mean, she missed. It was a perfect setup, too! Exact lethal! Okay, fine. Now we have to fight this normally. Oh, shoot. Which might actually... AI was scared of Arden. Yeah, the AI was... Absolutely terrified. What 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 can I say? Not everyone can be this be this amazing. Um, does Sigurd need to attack here? Sigurd might need to attack here. One sec. Double checking speed numbers. Twenty-two. You're weighed down by a blade. This is fine. Sigurd should attack here. I think he'll double? I think he'll miss. Oh, there's the crit! <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, Sigurd used Subdue. The Arden effect. Hmm. Oh, if only. I'll have to work on that. I'll have to try to work that in. Okay, so now I just need someone to love tap. Because that'll be... Just, just the one point of damage we need. And then we need to make sure that we find a way to kill everyone else. Okay, is there anyone else that might need some experience? Lamia snaking away from damage? Oh. Uh, I don't know if your puns are getting better or worse. A fine pun is often measured in the amount of mental damage it deals. Okay, 94%. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'd rather take out the Brave Sword enemy than the Sleep Edge. Perfect lethal, again. It's almost like these units are just built different. Something, something built different. Even Claude's getting in on the fun. All your puns are bad. Yeah, what's the difference between a bad pun and a good pun? With the right ear to receive it. Okay, who has the best odds of actually taking down Lamia? 100% you say. Okay, I think... I think Ira might be the choice. I'm just gonna double check. Weighs 12. Uh, 27. Okay, it would be lethal if I don't get put to sleep. Just don't fall asleep, lol. Easy. Easy game. J just just dodge and you're fine. It's just like, you know, how do you get, you know, how, how do you beat the boss? Just beat the boss.
Vantage doesn't exist. Vantage isn't real. Vantage doesn't hurt you. How? It's all in the numbers. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, even though you have a headache. Hope you get feeling better. I know you've been having... You've been saying you've been having some headaches a lot more recently, and I just want to make sure you're, you know, doing alright, taking care of yourself and all that. Go to bed, take some medicine, do what you need to. Yeah, we'll finish off the Brave Sword, and then all that's left is the Sleep Edge, which, um, shouldn't kill. If you can't hit, and that's a skill issue. Hopefully that got picked up by the mic. Okay, and then Brave Sword. I don't know if the Brave Sword actually finishes this. Nope. It does anyway, because the Sleep Edge just weighs a million pounds. Watch in amazement as I teleport for uh, Lewin to get Forsetti at Salise after all the enemies have been dealt with. <laughs> and there's no one else to actually use it on. Classic Lewin. At last you may turn into a young man who honors his promises. If you like Lord Sigurd, you may as well be still a screaming infant. You've still much to learn from him, and quickly. I should have been willing to die out there, not her. I'll be here to protect you from now on. I will never leave you again. But instead, I'm, I'm going to ask you specifically to leave me. Time has come for me to confer upon you your true birthright. Oh no! When the Crusader flows is the gentlest breeze. Hate and violence were never his answer. Imagine getting roasted by your own mother. It happens more often than you think. Yeah, maybe not for me now, but... I mean, that's just, isn't that just kind of like the teenage life? Hey, and I get to move again. Welcome to Forsetti, home of the Forsetti. May I take your Forsetti? Five magic, ten skill, twenty speed. Because having the unit who was voted in high school most likely to cap speed wasn't enough. He had to also get plus twenty. The 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 Forsetti book is basically just saying, hey. I hope I like I I hope you want to never get hit again. Because just equipping the Forsetti book is all you need to make sure that uh, Ishtar and all of Ishtar's squad just refuse to target you because you get 20% avoid. Uh, from triangle bonus, um, you have plus 20 speed, which is another 40 avoid effective. Plus whatever speed you have, which if you're capped and if you have 30 speed, then yeah, that's 100 base avoid plus 20 from advantage. It's like Mjolnir might barely be able to hit you, but it's it's gonna be. It's going to be so unlikely. It's so unlikely for Mjolnir to actually hit you.
God, it's honestly kind of sad. Like, y your hit rate gets low enough and the damage dealt by the whole Gelbin Ritter gets low enough that if you just have your Forseti user stand there, they'll block the entire choke point because none of the barons will want to actually attack you. And this is on the final chapter, so... It it's... It's... It's just laughable is what it is. Forseti is... The hardest of hard counters. Like, the only... Forseti is the hardest of hard counters to... Um, Ishtar's whole everything. That the only... Stronger counter weapon that they've ever made in Fire Emblem is the Binding Blade versus Dragons. <laughs> Where it's like, you deal 18 times 3 at base... Plus you have two range to outrange them, plus you have one range to uh, counter them in melee. It, it's just unfair is what it is. Okay, can I lure them out or are they scripted to not? I got that village and I completely forgot what they even said. Must have really been important. Okay, looks like they ain't moving. Oh, you have Blizzard, do ya? Okay. Like 24 damage though? 88 hit and negative 32 avoid. Unfortunately, he's gonna switch to tornado, but uh, that would that would be lovely to be able to abuse that low of, of avoid. Actually, I don't think it's gonna be happening. Okay, so we have Silver Lances, the Seal Bows, and a Blizzard Tome, so that's going to be fun. Um, Blizzard Tome range, I want to mark it with a unit. Uh, let's mark it with... I guess... No ish, yeah. yeah. You're gonna be fine. If I can't kill them after this dance, it's just gonna be the dance after. that Tail 2 can't take enemy phase because she can't tank enemy phase. Okay, are they going to do anything? I doubt it. Yeah, let's close this out. Dance spot right there. Bridget, make my day. Ah, great shield. <laughs> Had to do it. Had to do it, didn't you? You just had to great shield. Okay, now it's getting ridiculous. Okay, I know it's perfectly reasonable to see 
two great shields with a you know twenty percent proc chance. It's not in all reality. It's not actually that ridiculous. I get it. But thank you for reminding me the great shield exists because I was about to uh, try to risk Tail 2's life, and that's not something I want to do anymore. Can we get some damage done with the Brave Sword over here? Please tell me yes. Power of Pursuit? Okay, good. Okay, Sylvia, do your little dance. Okay, if I just kill off these idiots, then I can make sure that everyone's not going to die to Blizzard, and then we're fine. Okay, once again, you fell, do the thing. Shield too strong, please nerf. Well, it's okay, they did nerf it. Uh, it it's called Pavis now, and Pavis sucks. <laughs> uh. Another kill under the Brave Swords belt. I didn't even know Swords wore belts, but I mean, it makes sense. Okay, now I just need to make sure that whatever I do, I'm not getting into a lethal range of blizzards. Which I shouldn't hear, I should be fine. I think it was... I think it was just... Great shield that he had. I don't think he had, like, Adept or anything. I'm gonna double check that. Now that I've already risked my most important unit. Okay, it was just Great Shield. Okay. Okay, that would be a risk. And that uh, would also be a risk. So let's just not take that risk and then we're fine. If he wants to attack me at two range on enemy phase, I'm right here. He, he's more than welcome. A car hits like a truck. Well, assuming he hits. Because <laughs> look, at 24 attack. Yes, he's hitting on def on resistance, but that's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing bad has ever happened from someone being overconfident about how well their units are gonna perform. Look, Jamka is just gonna do exactly what he did with the last uh, night and just proc pursuit, adept, and uh, kill. Nope. Apparently he has... Does Tornado weigh zero? What the heck? A weight of two. Okay. I see where we're going with this now. Well, 
bury him in arrows until he dies, as they say. My dreams. Well, uh, literally everyone is now dead. A dinosaur story. Probably should have stopped and double checked on like arena stuff and whatnot, but I just want chapter four to be done. <laughs> Oh, I'm all in on Elot's uh, tier list so far. It's just chapter four is is definitely one of the chapters of all time, and it's probably the worst one in Mephi 4. But also, that was because... Okay, one, the first half of the chapter is just, like, running through a large swath of landmass with nothing going on. But it also combines all of the waiting time as you're readying up your final pairings and you're just sticking two units together and hoping you didn't mess something up. But with that, that's chapter four done and I'm probably going to call the stream a little early. I'm going to call it there. Because yeah, that's chapter four. I will see you all next time for chapter five. I don't know when next time's going to be. I'm not going to try to uh, predict in uh, future streams uh, because who knows what the future has in store for me. I am still working on the Fire Emblem AI video. I am just gathering footage and making some edits to my script if uh, for things that aren't correct. Uh, yay, no one died. Yes, that is true. No new deaths have happened. I'm making some edits to my script uh, as I gather footage. I just need to try to find uh, some 3DS footage, so Fates and Shadows of Valentia, and then I just need to create some uh, Three Houses and Engage footage. Uh, four games left to get footage for, and then any uh, relevant edits to the script, which I've already recorded, but I can always just re-record lines. Uh, then it's all piecing it together and trying to fit in some transitions. I have some ideas for what I want to do, but I uh, don't really know yet how it's going to work out. But anyway, uh, keep an eye out for that. Tomorrow I have a video. It's going to be a Radiant Dawn map tier list. If you enjoyed the one with uh, Elot that I did, uh, it's about half an hour shorter than the previous one, so still over three hours, still longer than this stream. Uh, so... Take it at your own pace, eat it in chunks, uh, enjoy it, um, and until next time, this is Mithril Zenith signing out, have a great day, and I hope everything goes well for you, as it, as it has been so far recently for me. Thank you, have a good day, bye-bye.